Uh, this series is going to be great for um, digital marketing agencies, marketing consultants, and also for local business owners as well that want to just understand how uh, the building blocks are for um, successful campaign um, strategies and uh, just from soup to nuts, kind of just how we set up, run, and optimize uh, different campaigns. So without further ado, Kevin, what is up, my brother? Not much, man. Not much, man. Um, yeah, thanks. That was a great intro. And and basically, just to kind of double back on that, um, whenever people are setting up campaigns, it is really, really easy to get past, you know, this the strategy session, the actual build out, because you've done it so many times, you kind of know what you're supposed to do. Um, you know, time and time again, it's been proven to me that if you kind of go through all of the steps and lay out exactly what you're trying to accomplish, who you're trying to attract, you know, the type of offer that's going to resonate with them, uh, you're just going to get better results. And, uh, and on top of getting better results, you're also going to know if something doesn't work and something is always not going to work. It lets you know what part of your campaign that you can adjust to make uh, to make sure that you're profitable basically each and every time. Uh, so, so breaking down a full campaign, it is a ton. There's a lot of stuff, you know, basically that's a four year degree. Uh, but what we've done is we've broken it into segments. We'll get through as many as we can in each episode, try to keep them around 20, 25 minutes. Uh, and then hopefully it'll give you a real deep understanding of what we're looking at. And if you need to break down and have any extra questions, you can actually let us know in the comments down below. And we'd love to direct you to all the materials uh, that'll help you kind of uh, not only get started, but but actually dominate, you know, on, on your campaigns in digital marketing or as a business owner. Um, so the things we want to touch on today are essentially the importance of defining goals before you get started, the type of goals that you want to track, uh, and then we're going to show you a tool that that we use in our agency um, that basically lets us visualize all of the KPIs that we're looking for, all of the strategy actually in place. So that we one know why it's working, know if it's working, and then know what to change if if it's less than desirable. Uh, so let's kind of get right into that. Uh, Tom, why is it important to define the goals uh, that you're looking to accomplish before you get started? Yeah, great question. Uh, one way that I always kind of um, think about it is, uh, unless you know where you're going, how would you know when you get there, or if you ever get there? Right. Think about it like using maps, right? You need to know and enter in the destination. So then you can, so then, you know, one of the app can find the best route for you, but then at least you know what to kind of expect, right? So I think that's important. And also um, you want to make sure that you inspect what you expect, right? That's basically step two. So as a business owner, if you are running these campaigns on your own, this is going to give you great insight. If you are a business owner that is overlooking a team, whether it's an outside third party, or someone internal, these are the things you want to look at as your core overarching metrics, right? So defining that outcome or that destination. Um, and some of the things that you want to look at is something that um, I had picked up from Dan Kennedy years ago, right? Think about it, no matter what channel that you're trying to market on, whether it's digital um, or non-digital, traditional, print, radio, doesn't matter what it is, right? You want to consider the three M's, right? And the three M's are message, right? What are you saying? Market, who am I saying it to? And then media. Media is what channels am I putting that message or that ad um, campaign out on, right? Within those three M's, you should have a more of a solid blueprint of just the foundational ingredients that you need, right? And then we can carry on from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you don't know what you're trying to accomplish, the chance of you actually accomplishing that are crazy because you, you don't really know when to stop. So this is one of those things that I think is super important, especially when talking to clients. Um, a lot of times they'll just say like, Hey, we just need exposure. You know, just if more people knew about us, then we'd be doing great with this. Right. Uh, or we just want to do like awareness campaigns. If anybody ever says that to me, I stop it right away because it's not true. Nobody wants awareness. Nobody wants exposure. People want more business. Right. So basically whenever I construct a campaign, I make sure that the destination is whatever actually pays off for them. Uh, in both of our agencies, we basically run lead generation as, as like our, um, like our key deliverable. So generally there, what we do is we break down every campaign into uh, a series of KPIs 
that if we hit those KPIs, it's going to be profitable for somebody. Like we decide essentially the destination is a repeat customer. That's what you want, right? So then you have to break down all of the steps before there, like your you know, cost for a repeat customer, a cost of customer acquisition, uh, your meeting sales percentage, your booking percentage, your landing page conversion, take that back. It's your cost per click. And even before that, it's your click-through rate or your impressions, right? So like mapping out the campaign in your head from a digital marketing perspective and deciding what each of those things should cost is something that I think is absolutely essential um, because I know it in a campaign. If, if I map it out that way and my cost per click is supposed to be $2, you can just do the math. And that means if everything remains even, you know, in this example, my cost per lead should be 30. My cost per lead should be 15, whatever, right? But if I switch that cost per lead from $2 to $4, you know, that's going to throw all the other numbers completely out of whack if they remain the same. So that means like now your cost per acquisition, instead of being 30, would be 60, right? Like it's, it's a process that lets you kind of define what you're looking at and how to actually get there. Um, it, like we said, it, it's a road mark there and uh, essentially just lets you know what's going good and what's not going good. 